Hi, I'm Shay, and welcome to Books with Shay. This is my 7,000th take of trying to make my very first booktube video, but I figured that there was no time like the present to uh, kind of jump in and join booktube because it is the reading rush, and that is a super huge readathon that I'm sure you guys have heard about all over booktube. I will link the creators and uh, their channel, the website, things like that down below if you haven't heard of it and you want to join in. So I thought this would be a great time to kind of get my feet wet and um, put myself out there on booktube. So now, even though it's super late because the reading rush already started today, I'm going to go ahead and still share with you my TBR so that we can get into kind of some reading vlogs and some other uh, content surrounding reading rush this week. Um, and so yeah, without further ado, let's get to my TBR. Uh, for the first challenge, it is to read a book with purple on the cover. And for that one, I'm going to be reading There Is Something About Sweetie by Sandea Manon. I hope I'm pronouncing that close to right. I've read her other two books, which are When Dimple Met Rishi and From Twinkle With Love, and both of them were pretty good reads. I would say maybe three, three and a half star reads for me, so enjoyable and a fairly easy read, so a good read to put on a readathon at TBR, especially because I am trying to get to seven books in seven days, which is a little bit of a daunting task. This book is about two uh, Indian teens, uh, one of which is a boy who has recently been dumped because his college girlfriend is cheating on him and then the other being a plus-sized track star who is wanting kind of some validation outside of uh, her weight and just knowing that her weight is not who she is but having those feelings recognized and validated by the people that are in her life. That's pretty much all I know so far. I started this today because the readathon started today. I'm about 150 pages in. Um, so far it is yeah, just right on par with the other reads that I've read by this author, so about probably three, three and a half stars for me. Um, I'm looking forward to finishing this for my uh, book with purple on the cover. The next challenge is to read a book in the same spot the entire time. For this one, I am doing The Wedding Party by Jasmine Gilroy um, or Gallery. I'm not sure. But anyway, so I have read her other books, The Wedding Date and The Proposal, and this follows two side characters, I believe, Maddie and Theo, if I'm correct and it's supposed to be kind of a hate to love. Hate to love is my favorite kind of contemporary romance trope so I'm looking forward to reading it and it should be again a pretty quick and easy read which is why I'm committing to doing it in one spot. Apparently the rules on this are you just have to be in the same spot the whole time it doesn't have to be in one sitting so I can sit on my couch and read it today and then come back and sit on my couch and read it tomorrow but I do think with the wedding party I should be able to get through it pretty quickly and probably in one sitting. For the next challenge, it is to read a book you meant to read last year. And for this one, I'm doing A Study in Charlotte by Brittany Cavallero. Um, I actually don't know very much about this book. I have seen a lot of people read it on booktube and I've heard that it, it is a pretty good book. I know that it has something to do with the descendants of Sherlock Holmes and Watson. And I guess it's kind of in the realm of mystery. I think it's a YA. I'm not, again, I'm not 100% sure. I remember hearing about it, putting it on my TBR, and then kind of not um, following through with, like, not really looking at it again. So it's not generally in the realm of books I read. I read a lot of fantasy and I read a lot of contemporary romance and those are like my two main genres. And so I think that's kind of why this went on my TBR and then kind of collected dust. So I'm looking forward to reading this and checking it off my TBR. Uh, the next challenge is to read an author's first book. And for this one, I'm going to be reading Natalie Tan's Book of Luck and Fortune by Rosalie Lim. For this challenge, you don't have to read a book that debuted this year. It just has to be an author's first book. This one happened to debut this year. Uh, again, I don't know very much about this book. I, I tend to like to go into books a little blind and then kind of discover the story as it unfolds. Again, I'm 
sticking kind of with that theme of easier reads that aren't super dense to kind of get through my seven books this week. The next challenge is to read a book with a non-human main character. For this one, I'm going to be reading The Kingdom by Jess Rothenberg. Um, I have heard good things about this book and it has a main character that is a robot. I believe the premise of this book is something along the lines of these robots were created to uh, make people happy to kind of meet their every need and it's almost theme park-esque it seems like to me. And then this robot who is on the cover falls in love with with a guest, I guess, which goes beyond kind of what her programming is. And then the guest dies and she is blamed for his murder. And I think this kind of follows that trial and what happened there. And I think it kind of airs on the side of mystery. And so it seemed pretty interesting to me and it is perfect for a non-human main character, which seems to be a challenge that a lot of people are struggling to find a book to read. So the next one is to pick a book with five or more words in the title. So for this one I'm doing The Key to Happily Ever After by Tiff Marcello. I again kind of went with lighter reads that would be easier to get through for this this week and so I think this should be a light fluffy romance. I actually know just about nothing about it. So we'll see. That's what I'm going to do for five more words and then for the book to movie adaptation which I've heard people not being excited about this, but I'm really excited about this. Um, this might be my favorite challenge on the list. So for this one, I am going to be reading Crazy Rich Asians. I absolutely loved the movie. I've watched it a ton of times, but I've never read the book. And so I'm looking forward to reading the book and reading, or reading, yeah reading the book and watching the movie. And so I'm gonna be doing this readathon with um, both my sister and my husband are gonna participate in this. And so my sister also is doing Crazy Rich Asians for this challenge. So we're gonna both read it, we're gonna have a movie night, it's gonna be super fun. So yeah, there is my TBR for the reading rush. If you want to add me as a friend, my link will be in the description down below. And please feel free to like this video, comment, subscribe if you're into bookish content, I guess. Yes, um, and I hope, I mean, I feel like I tried so many times to film this and to get the courage to edit it and put it up. And so um, if nothing else, I'm just proud of this video, video for it representing some follow through. So if you're somebody who's out there who's been considering starting a booktube channel, um, I just want to encourage you to, um, to do it. Like, I feel like there's... There's no reason not to, and this is the perfect time to do it with the big uh, reading rush happening. And so thank you so much for watching, and I will see you um, later on this week with some more bookish and reading rush related videos. Um, thanks for watching. Bye.